Hi, welcome to Deer Drive. Uh, we now have here the Hymera 200, which is an uh, H2 uh, fuel cell power supply produced by uh, BOC, uh, part of the Linda Group. Uh, we've now installed it with um, a cylinder, a Genie cylinder from Linda also, um, containing 400 grams of uh, hydrogen, which is equivalent of about uh, 7 kilowatt hours uh, net. If you add the, the heat that you're going to produce, if you're going to use that, uh, well, it's obviously double. So what you're now uh, doing here is charging the battery of the outboard electrical motor. It's a Torquedo 1.0 uh, kilowatt, which doesn't sound like a lot, but this uh, little sailing boat is 7 meters uh, and 86 uh, centimeters. And um, well, it's, it's, it's a fairly small boat. It weighs uh, 2.3 tons. Um, I'm sorry, I am not uh, converting that into uh, pounds and stuff like that, but um, you can do that online. So, and uh, the interesting thing is about these electric motors is that they have uh, obviously a lot of torque uh, from uh, the moment that you start them, uh, which is quite different from uh, their uh, fossil fuel uh, brothers. Um, I like these more actually, because you have so much thrust uh, when you're lying still, you can really move the boat very easily. So what we're now doing is uh, recharging the battery, uh, which makes a lot of sense because, well, it's a fairly small battery. It's a one kilowatt hour battery. Well, not not, uh, not quite. It's 915 watt hours, uh, which is okay for a sailing boat if you're gonna use it uh, um, leaving and, and, and entering the harbor and uh, sailing your uh, sails, uh, ho hoisting your sails, then it's okay. You won't really need um, a lot more but for example if you are leaving the port of Rotterdam or for that matter Amsterdam it's quite uh, comparable you really need to have uh, a lot of uh, well you, you're gonna need to use your motor a lot of the times because it's not allowed to sail over there in, in both uh, waterways so what you're gonna do is, um, if you wanna do it fossil free, you obviously wanna use uh, an electrical outboard. Uh, inboard could be also uh, your, your choice, of course. So what I'm gonna ask you is, uh, well, this battery is limited to about four amps. Um, we've set it at 29 volts. And this battery is so sophisticated that it's, uh, well, it's actually, um, uh, it manages itself. What we see here is the genie cylinder. Uh, well, we have a nice low pressure. Uh, this Hymera can uh, get up to about 10 bars of uh, pressure. This genie cylinder of Linda uh, contains uh, normally uh, up to 300 uh, bars. Uh, you can see here what's left. It's just a little bit above 200 bars. So. We really need to install this properly if we're gonna sail, of course. That's uh, that makes a lot of sense. We could could put it over there uh, in the bottom. Uh, what we see here is our power supply. This is the the power supply um, from the harbor. So we're now cooling our drinks in our little fridge um, uh, via grid power. This is our power supply. It's uh, a Victron Phoenix 12800, which means it provides uh, 12 volts DC. Uh, no, that's the. It doesn't. It needs about 12 volts DC, but it can actually go up to 17 volts, uh, which is nice because we have a lithium battery in this boat. Uh, I can tell you more about lithium batteries uh, because they have a lot of advantages over uh, the old-fashioned ones. Uh, well, probably a lot of people uh, do not use lead acid anymore for various reasons, but uh, well. There are other, other reasons to do to not use them, but use lithium instead. So this is uh, the 220 volts AC output that you can see over there. So let me just skip to the battery over here. What you see here is the lithium uh, battery. Uh, this is for the, the grid. Uh, this is the lithium battery. It's, um, it's about.
idea why I'm not quite impressed by the danger of hydrogen because it's very safe to you know how to use it. So, um, well, yeah, uh, but if you have a lead acid you end up is not explosive uh, which you can see over here it's flammable like uh, gasoline uh, or diesel but it's not explosive by itself you really need oxygen to uh, to reach that point um, well from uh, other points of view the the cylinder is uh, very sturdy so it would be very uh, hard to destroy that so let me look over here still charging let's go outside guys we have here uh, a little thread going especially made here's our nice motor so um, we could look if it does something if we start it up yeah it was at 62% now it's at 64 so it's doing a nice job uh, searching for GPS and stuff this actual motor so we can also run it now. See? I just keep it running. We are pretty tight here in the harbor. Let's go back. Let's see what it does. Hey, that's nice. Still charging. Hope you guys can see it, guys and girls. Still charging. So what we're now actually able to do is uh, draw power and provide power to the uh, battery of the electric uh, motor. So that's interesting because this is a 200 watt power supply. Um, this will actually wouldn't be 200 watts. Would be a little li uh, a little less, I guess. Uh, for the, well, just over a little 100 uh, 100 watts. So. But the whole thing is, if we would uh, be moving with this boat with, let's say, um, uh, 300 watts, which, which will make uh, this boat move uh, fairly easy, um, then, well, you would end up with using your battery a lot uh, more of the time, because it just runs out, uh, uh, well, much later than uh, when you don't have this power supply. So, uh, that's about it, uh, this is our little test, uh, works out uh, fine, uh, we should do something with the threads I guess, but uh, the cables, um, but it's okay, we'll be fine. Best regards from um, um, the Kaag in uh, Holland, I uh, hope you have a nice day and see you next time.